not the 360, but one of the diffusers. It definitely gets some attention. Oh, see the school kids are going crazy, and they yeah. don't even know how to drive. I'm gonna skip my brakes, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my brakes, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my brakes, I'm gonna make mistakes. Look at beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Then the next thing you know, Jordan Walker of Ace American Autos from Leeds came to see me. I needed to get rid of the plasti dip on the TVR for the mysterious American collector because he wanted the car painted a different shade. As a first rate fella of the highest order, Jordan offered to help me out. So back to quality colors all we went. So what happens is when you make everything electric as in door poppers, boot poppers, bonnet poppers, electric windows. There's a slight complication when you uh, try to get in the car because the battery's also in the boot, which is also electronically controlled. So now I've got to try and find a battery terminal, which is over there, which is handy. So a couple of 10 mils and we will take apart the car in its first part, which is awesome. I need to find a bit of wood to hold the bonnet up. There is a bonnet prop. Blows my mind. Doesn't look very put my head under here, does it? No. <laughs> oh, it's just a it slides out. Yeah. Now, borrow 10 mil, is that right? Yeah. Borrow 10 mil on the well. You're well excited about doing this car, aren't you? Yeah, I can't wait. Every part of you says, no, thank you. There's the first part. Woo! Well, we've got to take all the plastic dip off here. Yeah. See, I have a feeling that these front wings aren't actually going to come off. does come off, you know, because it looks very, very interesting. I think that bumper stays on, you know. Is it? It looks very, because look, there's no edge. It just joins in and then goes down and goes down and goes down and down. See if this absolute gem fires up, shall we? Don't forget to turn the key. Oh yeah. The key that you found that I didn't even know existed. Yes. I think we've got to put the... I've got nothing. Put the key, put the... That little... No, I've lost it, all the electrics. I lost everything. We're still up. What? I got, oh, hang on. We're back in the room. I took that. Shit up power. No, I've got nothing, which is weird. But no windows. Let's see if it... Well, that was a dick move, wasn't it? Yeah. That was what you call a dick move. Wait, okay. Wait, the in the car. I've just locked myself in a car. You good? <laughs> There's a problem about this car because now inside, maybe I could plasti dip remove it from here. After some time, my situation improved slightly. <laughs> 
Eventually, with my man Dave Turner using the jump pack, the beast awakened. It's alive! Right, awakened twice, actually. So finally, we were able to move the damn thing to a central position so we could get access to it from all sides. Then it was time to attack that nasty plastic dip. To thank Jordan for his help, I took him for lunch and we took the amazing TVR. So what do you think of the interior? Very out there. Yeah. It's, it's very impressive. 1996 Max Power-esque. Definitely, yes. And, you know, like it's funny, because Ed Bolian just had the um, the Paris Hilton car. Oh, the wow. SLR, okay. yeah? Yeah. That Britney Spears revealed her life. Oh! Which uh, uh, she revealed her whole life to the world in. Yes. Right? Well, Jordan revealed her whole life to the world in this car, so okay. you know, it's had the same kind of adverse effect. Yes. Checking fuel, so where's our fuel gauge? We are low on fuel, but we are good on oil pressure, so I'd rather have oil pressure than, um, <laughs> than, fuel. than fuel at this current moment. But it's so cool, like, I've never had a TVR before, and when I was uh, given the option of buying this car for a good friend of mine, it was like, this is kind of like the coolest TVR in my opinion in the world. Like, yeah. do you get any cooler than the Charisma car, you know? No, definitely not. It's one of a kind, isn't it? it it's been recognized everywhere, especially in the UK. Now it's orange, things yeah. have changed slightly. It's, it's not as crazy and as over the top as the uh, the gold, but I think it's a little bit nicer. It's a little bit yeah. more um, refined, you know? Yeah, the color on it now we've removed the, the gold, it actually looks- Thank you for that, suitable. <laughs> oh no, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't mind giving a hand, like I say. But we got a stereo, we got music, which Carl will have a baby at us if uh, I put any music on. Yeah. Whee! Oh, we got... That was lucky, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Stalled it. Oh. The good thing about these cars, though, is they are the... Um, they are the whole 2000 era in a uh, in a bank in a blanket really you know it sort of covers everything doesn't it yeah crazy sound systems mental interiors and uh expensive cars that somehow they made them even more expensive <laughs> yeah spending a fortune on them modifying them like this is it's not a cheap process this was early 2000s as well 2001 2002 yeah this would have been a quite a wow car back in the early 2000s it would have still been a you know a five-year-old car it would have still been expensive so to modify it this drastically in 2002 definitely you know was, was very crazy and i can see why it made the um the magazine but the brakes are really good but they are huge the brakes yeah. are like dustbin lids you know yeah they're are they original i think i don't I doubt it they, they look very wow as opposed okay. to ooh. <laughs> yeah you know no interior mirror, but the uh, the mount is there for it, but it's missing. Try not to stall it. The clutch is nice and low, which is a good sign. Um, but I didn't realise that this whole centre pod below the steering wheel was actually OE. It's original, you yeah, know? Yeah, it is on these. Uh, just a, a fixture and a, a taste of the TVRs. They're known for being a little bit different, aren't they? But that's it. So what, tell me what you like about TVRs, obviously British made, anything you like about them? I mean, the old engine, it was based on a Buick engine, and Buick were like, yeah, that's yeah. rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, TVRs for me, are, they're definitely, like say, British made, good cars, V8s normally. Yeah. I, I love a V8, so great Unique cars. styling. Yeah, you know. very different, especially on this one. Um, yeah, the, all the TVR range are very different. This is just a, a one-off, really. It's a, a mega a, piece. Electrical problems like no one's business. 
Oh yeah, me being in the electrical trade. Um, these are money earners, right? Yeah. <laughs> definitely, are, definitely. Uh, yes sir, bring your TVR in here. Do you have a checkbook? Yeah, don't worry about filling it out. We'll fix that for you, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's very different. It is, but it's quite nice, isn't it? Like, in a way, you, you feel like, you feel like part of the, the fun. Like yes. a lot of cars, you're, you're just a driver. You jump in an M3 BMW, and that's all you are. You're a driver to a machine. But yeah. this car feels like you're, you're part of the machine, you know? You're part of the fun. Yeah. I mean, what could be done to this car to modernize it? There's not a lot you could do, realistically, and keep it within a no. tasteful manner. No. The engine's big, the exhaust is leery, the interior has been calmed down. Like this would have had 14 dials in it, it would have been very over the top. It has been brought down slightly. Yes. Sound system's still cool, it's got yeah. sat nav. Like, what else do you really need, you know? Nothing really. No. Very good. Reliability. Oh, yeah. Very. Do you get that with a TVR? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Too, right? Yeah, definitely. I've got no indicators. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Ah, here. Well, that's a curb. Oh. Can't have a good day filming without a good, <laughs> good point. Yeah, true. Oh, oh, I've got to pay you for de-stickering it with me, so. Yeah, a point will do. A point will do. You <laughs> 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 definitely get some attention. Oh. See, the school kids are going crazy and they yeah. don't even know how to drive. <laughs> Guys, I am getting up to 30 mile an hour pretty quickly, but I am within the speed limits of England. It's that afterburner noise that I love, you know? Yeah. And the crunch over speed humps. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely a slight crunch over speed bumps. That's free, and when I go into first gear, <laughs> there's a problem. Carl will love that. He's a <laughs> sucker for a sexy shot. Not the 360, but one of the diffusers. Oh my God, that's irreplaceable. And the other one was hanging by a thread, or shall I say a plasterboard screw. Yes, someone had installed these with household wall mounting fixings. <laughs> Carl looks a little worried now. <laughs> <laughs> when your cameraman realises yeah. that we lost the best camera. That's a puzzled face, isn't it there? <laughs> oh, save oh, it! Yeah, save it. <laughs> I'm not sure my mysterious American buyer is going to like seeing this footage, but we retrieved the diffuser and it was totally undamaged, believe it or not. And when I showed my mysterious American buyer pictures of the car with its original orange paintwork for the whole world to behold, you know what? He actually decided to drop having it resprayed. This wonderful old TVR is now in the United States of America. And when I am cleared to do so, I'll update you on who this mysterious American buyer is. Or perhaps you should follow Hard Up Garage on social media 
because I might be updating everyone on those channels first. Quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then the bell button so you get alerts when we release new episodes and follow us on social media too for extra stuff and more alerts about videos we're releasing, which at the moment is every Sunday and the odd Wednesday too. Bye for now.